Okay, today's Wheel of Food came up and it sounds really, really bad, but it's actually not. I'm gonna be doing a tuna fish pizza. <laughs> yeah, tuna fish and pizza. So I Googled it to see if it's even a thing and yep, people are doing it. So I'm gonna try this out. Now I know it sounds a little weird, but you know, I like shrimp on pizza and clams on pizza. People like anchovies, those are all seafood critters. So why not canned tuna? I could do a red sauce. I could also do a white pie or a pesto pie, like a uh, tuna pesto pasta salad. Those are yummy. So which one of those will I? One tip I've learned about making a homemade pizza is you can get a crust from your favorite pizzeria and start with that. So you'll be way ahead. For me, that's Joe's New York Pizza. All right, that definitely caused a little bit of confusion, but we got creative and for $7, they gave me my own dough to go, raw. Thanks to you, Joe's Pizza. Another trick I've learned is to get tuna in a pouch instead of a can. In a pouch, they don't have to heat it quite as much as a can to get it safe to eat. So that means the tuna inside is more raw. That's going to be good. Uh, also, notice I'm doing a taste test, skipjack versus albacore. Who's going to win? These are both low sodium, by the way. Um, most tuna is 200 milligrams. Even the light stuff is 150. These are like 40 and 50 each, so really good. You can see a visible difference. This is the albacore. It's redder. This is the skipjack. The albacore is a little fishier tasting. The skipjack milder. There she is. I think she looks pretty legit. That's the screen that Joe's Pizza gave me the first time I tried to do a pizza. Look at that. I think it's the real deal. Now the question is, how will it taste? All right, I cut her up. I'm gonna try a piece of the skipjack first since it was more mild. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. All right, this is why you go to a pizzeria to get their crust, because this is legit a pizza crust. Um, I'll get back to you on the taste. <laughs> All right, so overall, I actually really like it. Um, I needed to put a little fresh lemon on there. Once I did that, oh my gosh, it tasted so much better. Uh, I like it. I would eat it again. It wouldn't be like my number one favorite pizza. Like It's not going to replace mushrooms or meatballs or something, but I really do like it.